<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's Ordinary again. This is another one of those uh, how to improve be a GM mode for NHL 15, uh, coming from NHL 14. So, um, last time I talked about scouting, and this is kind of in the same vein. And if you guys remember, I popped open this screen here, the staff upgrade screen, and I was kind of complaining about how this screen is kind of dumb. Um, there's not much to it. You get some points by playing the game and you decide if you want to improve some stuff. Uh, that's basically all there is to it right now. Um, the only thing that affects this is like the GM difficulty. You start a little bit lower or something like that. Like It's it's a screen that no one pays attention to and it has a lot more potential than that. Um, it can definitely be turned into something useful and cool. So that's kind of what I'm going to talk about. Um, my idea for this screen would be kind of like uh, a hiring and firing system. Like it's not very realistic that when you come on board, um, and even if you're the GM for 25 years or whatever, that uh, you got the same amateur scout, you got the same pro scout, you got the same medical staff, you got the same assistant coach um, for your entire tenure. I mean, that's not how real life works. People either um, leave to go be like uh, GMs of other teams, or they get better offers from other teams, and their contracts run up and you have to renew their contracts like there's so much more to the screen than what you can see right now and that's just staff right like there should probably be an assistant GM and some other stuff too and my idea for it is kind of like uh, an RPG skill tree so um, I don't know if you guys have ever played um, many RPG games but um, usually you got a party of like four but you have a lot more other people so my idea would be like you come in and you have a budget of what you're allowed to spend and depending on how well your team's been doing lately um, you get more budget because that's how it works in the real world right um, if your team's doing well your owner is willing to spend more money on on the team so if you're um, there should be some correlation between your team success and your budget and then you have to fill all these spots and you have to do you don't have to do like an interview or anything but there's a selection of candidates and they all have different uh, different skills, different uh, different weak sides, different uh, plus sides, and different salaries that they're looking to get. So you have to balance your budget and choose between... I'd say there needs to be one more for an assistant GM. So my idea for this is to have five different um, different categories. You've got your, your amateur scout, your pro scout, uh, your medical staff, your coach, and your assistant GM. And then you go into them and you have to hire. And each one of those people will have, um, there'll be like five different candidates maybe, like it's up to them. This is kind of just a rough idea. So you pick maybe the first uh, amateur scout, um, like it says down there, concentrates on Canada but views more blah blah blah. Like those should be um, the guy's pros, right? Like it shouldn't be how you update this, it should be like this guy is uh, known for his good scouting overseas. Uh, this guy is known for being able to pick out really good goalies. And then um, they come, some come a little bit further developed than the others, but the ones that are cheaper are less developed, and you have your budget that you have to uh, fit into. And then there will be a skill tree once you hire one of your guys. So instead of just sliding this slider, you actually get to choose which one of your... Uh, it costs 80, so if I had 80, I could go in there and choose which way I want to take um, my amateur scout's development. Do I want to increase like uh, his ability to scout overseas? Do I want to increase his ability to scout defensemen? Um, do I want to increase his ability to pick up um, the better players in like the second and third round, or do I want to increase his ability to pick up better players in like the sixth and seventh round? Uh, it'll be things like that, right? So. Um, you actually get to think about where you're putting your upgrade cost into and it's not just a dumb slider where you're smacking your stick to the right. Um, and then you'll have to negotiate with these guys too, right? Because you have your um, your budget to fit into. So it'll be kind of like how currently you get to pick with your players how many years you're offering them, what their salary is, um, so on and so forth. If you're not happy with the job that they're doing, uh, you can fire them to get a new one. But 
you're um, you're still paying out that contract until until it expires, sort of like a buyout in the NHL, right? And of course, like as I was saying, some people are just going to leave when their contract expires, um, and I feel like that should be um, in player contracts too. But that's a whole other video. Um, when their contract expires, maybe they don't want to be your coach anymore, right? Maybe they want to go coach a different team. Maybe they don't want to be your assistant GM anymore. Maybe they got a, a job offering from one of the other clubs with a better salary to be their assistant GM or their actual GM. Like, that's how the NHL works. Um, yeah, lots of times there's a pro scout on a team that's been there for 25 years, but that's definitely not the case every time. And, um, yeah, that's how I figure this uh, this back-end um, staff should be handled. It should be you hire your staff, you get a choice of what staff you want, you choose one, um, they have pros and cons to them, and then they have um, a skill tree where you build up the left, you build up the right, and it affects different uh, different ways that they handle their job. So medical staff, what could that be? Um, you hire ones that uh, this, uh, this trainer's better with head injuries. This trainer's better with torso injuries. Um, there should be ways to um, to make this different per GM mode that you play. Because right now, it's the same every time you play a GM mode. Um, you come in here and you do this. What it should be is you play GM mode and one of your files, you have an amateur scout that's really good at picking up um, European players in the later rounds. The the next one you have um, an amateur scout that's really good at picking up goalies in any round. Uh, the next GM mode you have um, you have an amateur scout that's really good at picking up defensemen from the CHL leagues, uh, from the North American leagues in uh, in like the second and third round, the ones that aren't touted, but uh, they they know that they're gonna have better potential, right? And that that's where it uh, ties in with. Um, with increasing the variation of the scouting. But yeah, guys, that's uh, that's my idea for how to increase this staff ability screen. If you like that, let me know. Um, again, if you don't agree with it or if you agree with certain aspects, I want to know which ones. And, of course, let me know what your changes would be to this screen, to GM mode, or to uh, any of the modes in NHL 14 going into NHL 15. And as always, thanks for watching this one, guys. Uh, and uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Peace.